Welcome, this is where nerds come to learn things. If it's your first time here, click on the subscribe button and on the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it. Alright, I've just been given this iPhone to work on. It's actually my son's, which used to be my wife's. Handed around a little bit. It's an iPhone 5C. So it's getting on a little bit. I've replaced this battery once. I think it was only about six months ago, maybe. Maybe a bit longer. I don't have done a video on it. But it's swelling up. It's actually popping the screen off. So, not good. I've already um, taken the little bracket off that covers this up. But if I swing this up, might be able to see, maybe. Can you see it's bulging? Yeah, you might be able to see it there. But yeah, it's definitely not flat. And um, yeah, so it's pushing the screen off. So let's pop this out. I'm not sure if the phone's turned off or not, but we'll, you know, we'll be off in a second. Let's it off. Hope I've got double sided tamp in here. It feels like there may be. Yeah. There we go. So hopefully I can pull this, this tab out and let the battery come out nicely. Let's excuse the gunk on my hands. I've been doing rust repairs on my motorhome. I'm doing a video on that too, actually. Kind of. Come on. The right hand one looks like it's breaking. See that? Come on, help me out here. Ah, uh, fighting. Uh, it's gonna be one of them. Spudger, where's my spudger? Let's see if I can lever this up a little bit as well. Just to help it come out, maybe. Come on, get hold of that. So these strips are a good idea when they work. If they don't, if they don't work, then not so good. Anyway, if I can lift this up to get some stress off it, maybe I can get one one strip to pop out. Here we go. That's helping, I think. No, it's not. It's broken. All right. So I'll try and get in there without leaving off anything I'm not supposed to be leaving from. I might just have to pop it, the spudger. Get one. Cooperate you little bugger. <laughs> right, let's try putting this one some more. No, this is breaking. It is gradually lifting up so it is kind of letting go but Yeah, I think one half has gone. Yeah, man. Right. So, aside from my spudger marks on the back there, you can see it's not flat. Definitely bulged. I might just leave that in there and hold the next battery in. Uh, now I've got two batteries here. I'm not quite sure if either one of these are correct. I've got an iPhone, well, this model's iPhone 6, uh, 5S and iPhone 5. And I'm not quite sure if one of these is the right one or not. I've had these sitting around for a little while, so I'm not quite sure. Part number, there's everyone on here. 0721 06. One three. Hmm. What's this one? Uh, 
uh, 0721. Okay, so this battery is for this phone. Excellent, so I don't actually have a battery for it. I'm not sure if you actually got that in shot or not, but anyway, so. Right, so. Different manufacturer, hopefully. It's got the same ratings on it. Same part number. It looks the same. So we should put this one in and see if it works. So I'm just going to leave the original stuff in here. Maybe I'll try and flatten it out a little bit where it's like. Yeah. Because, I don't know. Like this whole needing to pull the tabs out thing is a real pain. Anyway, let's try and get these high spots off so this will sit a bit better. There's not many high spots, there's a couple. Let's try that one here too. Give it there. That's the only thing that's going to hold the battery up. Although, if you compare these two batteries, you might be able to see. One is definitely a bit thicker than the other. Hmm. So I'm not quite sure which phone this other battery is for. I just said iPhone 5. Maybe it is just a 5. Not the uh, 5S, 5C. Anyway, I do have an iPhone 5 here somewhere. Somewhere? I'm not sure it is actually. I think I had a fault with memory or something. I think the flash was dying on it. Alright, so let's put this battery in. So I'm just going to use the, use the original sticky stuff. Let's leave the original in there. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's try and get it lined up. That, so that would pop in. Well, hopefully it will anyway. Let's try and... going there. It's not quite sitting right. It is all supposed to kind of just sit in place. Right, I think that's in. Battery's definitely in. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to um, replace the whole bloody or last pull tabs because next time it could break off again too. So let's just put it back together as it is. Then I'll power it up and see if it, see if it works. Just lucky I happen to have the right battery sitting here. Alright, so that's in place. The home button on this isn't brilliant, it's it the actual button spins. <laughs> so it's had its day. It's an old phone. But still works. Before I try it, this battery may be completely flat though. No signs of life. Let's grab a charger. I'll try again in a minute. Okay, let's plug this thing in. I've got a charge cable plugged in. This end's got to plug this end in, and we'll see what happens. Drawing an amp, it's doing something. And yep, we have a battery symbol on the screen there. Which you probably can't see because the light's so bright. Yeah. So yeah, it's trying to charge. So success, hopefully. This battery has been sitting around for a while, um, at least a year, maybe two years. So that's why it's flat. But anyway, we'll, I'll charge it up and see how it ends up. But it's drawing one amp right now, so it's obviously definitely charging. Another battery bite of dust, but again, this battery wasn't that old. I mean, it's certainly less than a year old. Sure of it. Okay, so if it's going to charge okay, then I'll best put those two screws back in, which go on the end of the case. Hold the screen on. There's one. Where the other one go? There it is. Let's go uh, 
pentalobes, whatever they're called, I don't know. Um, name escapes me, I think it's pentalobe, isn't it? Chuck that on there. Chuck that in there. Done, let's plug it back in the charge again. Excellent. I think that'll do. Thanks for watching. I found it interesting. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the bell icon, get notifications and that sort of stuff. Give us a thumbs up. And share it with your friends if you think you're interested in seeing one of these batches which has died and is a bit hard to get out. They don't last long.